Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of iron 3 hydroxide, FeOH3, plus sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, and that will produce or yield Fe2SO4-3, and then plus water. So I already wrote out our chart here and all the elements or the polyatomics that I see that are on both sides. Now all we have to do is just put the numbers. I see that I have a iron here, iron is Fe. There's no coefficient, that means that there's one. So I'm just gonna say that I have one iron. For my hydroxide, which is OH, I have a three here. So I know that I have three OHs. For the H component, I see that I have two hydrogens. So for the H, I'm gonna put a two. And then for my polyatomic sulfate, I only have one of these because I don't see any parentheses and a number down here. So you could think of this as one of this whole entire sulfate. Coming over to the product side, I now have my iron and I see that I have two of them. So I have two of the irons, the FEs. The sulfate now, I see a three parenthesis. That means that I have three SO4s. So I'm gonna put a three down here. For the hydrogen, I have, let's see. Now, if you see here, if you see that you have a OH, right? And then you see that you have water, you could always think of the water as being determined as H O H. Instead of H2O, you can always change the water into H O H. In this case, it just makes the balancing easier. The H is going to be just the hydrogens and the OH is going to be for that hydroxide, but still it's H2O, right? Just written a little bit differently. So in this case, I have one H, and that's gonna go down here, and in order to make it look nice and balanced with the hydroxides, I'm gonna say that I have one OH. Now we're getting ready to balance. So let's see. It doesn't matter which one we start off with. Let's pick the one that's easiest for us. Let's start with the irons. I see that I have two irons on the product side, and I have one. We always try to get to the higher number by multiplication. So one times what will get us to two? One times two. And whatever number that you stated is the number that goes in the front with the element that has the, the element that you're talking about. So I said one times two, so I know that there's gonna be a two here. But now, whenever you add or put a coefficient in front of a compound, you have to be fair. That two gets distributed to all of the elements or the polyatomics in that compound. So I have two irons, but now how many total hydroxides do I have? I have two times the three, right? Because two and the three, two times three is six. So I go to my OH and I say that I have six. Okay, let's pick another one. Let's do the sulfates. I see that I have three on the one side and I have only one. Try to get to the bigger number. One times what will get me to three? One times three. And whatever number that you just stated is the coefficient. So I'm gonna put a three here. And now we have to be fair. This distributes to the hydrogen and the sulfate. So three times two is now a total of six hydrogens. And now I have the three sulfates, which is what I wanted. We're getting closer. The only thing that we have to balance now is the H and the OH, but that's all over here, right? Doesn't matter, they're both one and they wanna go to six. So one times what will get me to six? Six, and whatever number you put is the coefficient that goes in the front. So there's gonna be a six in the front and you gotta be fair, it goes to the H and the OH. So there's a six OHs now and six H's. And all the numbers are now balanced. So we are officially done. So in this balanced equation, we have two FeOH3s plus three H2SO4s, and that will produce Fe2SO4-3. There's one of them, so one Fe2SO4-3 plus six 
HOHs, or you could write it as six H2Os. And that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, give this video a like, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for that, and I'll see you in future lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.